Mikkel, this starts a stretch of a lot of road games for you guys. Just what's the tone that you guys need and want to set, which is with this first matchup against the Pistons? Got to set the tone early and we're defending and playing hard. Uh, I think we lack a little bit on the road and stuff like that. And then when we get down, we kind of relax, you know. Um, besides, no, it's, it's a part of the game, you know. Like last game, we was down 13 or something like that early. It's part of the game. That's The league is like that. It's part of runs. Sometimes they start off hot. You just got to be able to get through that, you know, and besides quit and lay down. So uh, it's just the tone on a road trip. Can't come out here and just lose all these road games. The news came out earlier today about Ben being out for this season. Just, you know, just what's your reaction to that? And just have you gotten a chance to speak with him? Uh, I haven't, but uh, just speedy recovery, honestly, you know, just injuries ain't fun. So just, you know, hope he gets better. Hopefully his mental's fine, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, I know getting hurt. Is, isn't fun at all, and it, it gets with you mentally. So, hope he's just all right, and um, just hope, just you know, speedy recovery. You only got to play with him like not that many games. Yeah. I mean, how how hard is it to see a guy try to come back and then not be able to, and see what he's gone through like that? Yeah, I mean, it's tough. I mean, nobody, I don't wish that on nobody, you know. And um, obviously, been one of our teammates, one of our guys, part of our family, and it's uh, it's tough. So I just. Like I said, I just hope he's he's good up top of his head. You know, I know it's tough wanting to be out there and working to get back and then, you know, being out. So hope he's all right. Does it make you even more, I don't know, thankful, appreciative of your own fortune and just in terms of your incredible ability to stay healthy when um, you look at everything he's going through? Yeah, I mean, just take that with life just every day, just being grateful just to be alive every day. So that's part of it as well. I have a question about just the low turnovers. I know that's been part of the recipe game that Kevin Ollie's talked about. What have you seen just from the team's ability to keep that number low and just kind of what do you attribute that to? Yeah, just taking care of the ball and, and guys being at the right space, right spots and, you know, guys who are having the ball, making the right plays, making the right reads. Um, just takes a, just a whole unit, you know. So, um, and, you know, giving up turnovers, it helps them on other end. And, you know, you're trying to win, so you know, Turn the ball over ain't gonna help you with your win percentage. When you look at your you know percentages and such over the last whatever six, seven, eight, nine games versus what they were the last fifteen or twenty before that, there seems to be a slight dip. Not just in total volume, but I mean like in some of the percentages. Are you getting to that you know kind of those dog days point of the season where you're feeling a little bit? physically you're feeling a little worn down and you're having to fight through that or is there something else no not really no I think it's just between missing shots and uh and schemes on other team I think it's just a mix of that and you know it's not too many times where I come off and it's you know easy looks now you know and it's just part of the growth and something where it just it's gonna make me better make the team better when it's all said and done but just get through that hump and but no it's just it's just between making and missing shots, I felt even games where I shot bad, they all felt good. I felt good before, and that's probably usually the worst part when you make every shot of warm-ups and then come to the game and miss every one. So that's not, the, that's not, that's not as fun. But, uh, no, body and stuff feels good. Just, you know, just got to make, make it count, you know, depending, no matter what defense it is. Um, obviously, it's new to me, um, but, I mean, the only way to get through it is to keep going through and, and, and getting better at it. So, you know, the more I see it, ain't, I'm just, ain't going to put me down. It's going to make me just keep trying to get better and help myself and help the team as well. And following up on Megan's question about the road, I mean, this is the longest road trip you guys are going to have or the longest stretch away from home yeah. that you guys are going to have all year. Um, I mean, as a vet, I, A, has that been a topic of discussion? You know, hey, listen, We've seen what we've done on the road, but we're better than that. We need to make sure that our minds are right for this road trip. And if so, who's been the loudest voice in there about that? Yeah, um, yeah, we just got to stay together, you know, because it's just us out there, you know, the, the crowd, you know, on the road. So when times get tough, you know, it's just it's just us. And we just got to come together as a group, as a unit to just fight through it. You know, it's kind of a little bit easier at home when you're down because you got the crowd that can help you. But um, it's just us on the road. And um, I think it's a collective group. Everybody's just talking. Everybody want to win. Um, but it definitely helps that Dennis is here as well. Just, just him coming in and bringing the, the vet presence and him wanting to win, it helps.